Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's jump right into your reading. We are doing the shell readings for this month. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's see, spirits, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. Okay. All right, Aries. What I see for you guys is feeling or getting to a point of feeling like you are currently at crossroads. For some of you guys, this could be choosing uh, certain, having options is what they're saying. So being at crossroads, uh, being at crossroads having to make a decision between two different things for some of you guys this could be specifically connected to love and romance for others of you this could be uh, an opportunity uh, in regards to finances now uh, what they're saying here is if you do feel for the month of august i want to say the second week of august there's going to be pressure pressure in regards to Things that have been suppressed that are coming to surface. Um, but the reason for that is because for some of you guys, you guys have been experiencing. Um, you guys have been experiencing like some type of resistance. And finally, the resistance or the blockage is being removed um, and opportunities are coming your way very quickly. Now, again, there is almost a feeling of having to make a decision but I, I feel pressure pressure in regards to that decision so for some of you guys it could be something where time is of the essence um for some of you guys this could be in between uh in regards to two people dealing with two different people for some of you guys it could be dealing with a person that you are genuinely interested in while also dealing or still communicating with the person from the past i don't see that this is a person from your past in regards to love so for some of you guys it could be like um some type of friendship or connection that started and at some point it was halted whether it be circumstantial or whether it be because that person still had unresolved issues um, so I kind of see you guys sitting there waiting for this person to either make a move or make a, a choice um, in regards to wanting to pursue this connection or not. So all the while you've been sitting, there may be opportunities that start to arise. And this is in regards specifically with people. So it could be people coming towards you, new energies that are coming towards you when you've been sitting focused on a specific person or a specific individual waiting for them to make up their mind or to choose you and you start to feel more uh, empowered you start to feel more stronger for some of you guys for some of you guys it could even be like dealing with the person from your past that you're still emotionally invested in um, but what they're saying here is that all the while you've been sitting there or trying to fix something that is already broken, I see new opportunities and a new energy coming through. So again, it could be the reason why you feel like you're at crossroads. Like now I have choices. Now I have, um, now the ball is in my court and you don't know what to do. You don't know where to go or what to choose. What they're telling you is don't, change the don't change the path that you've been on if you've been holding on to that specific materialization so for some of you guys if you've been sitting there waiting for someone just because you start to have momentum or new energies coming through or new opportunities or finding out that people are interested in you if you've been waiting for this person long enough don't let temptation tempt you because I feel that for some of you guys, you're going to be tested for the month of August. It's almost like Spirit is saying, you've been asking for this, here it is. But also, let me give you another opportunity or another option to see what it is that you really want. So for some of you guys, this could even be in connection to partnerships. Keep in mind, partnerships not necessarily is relationships. For some of you guys, this could be opportunities uh, in regards to business or partnerships if you are in a partnership uh, where you feel like perhaps uh, the person or the partner that you're in business with has been lacking 
um, and finally a new person is coming through right when uh, this partner starts to put effort and energy continue to maintain your focus Aries what they're saying is from now all the way to the end of this year it's going to be very important for you to be crystallized clear on what it is that you want and don't let temptation or other people uh, move you from the path that you're currently on uh, I do see you guys walking towards a goal or some type of manifestation that is coming through. But what they are saying is that this manifestation comes through. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be at the end of the month of August. For others of you, it could even be in the beginning of September. But it is coming through. Now, for those of you guys that started your business or that you've been waiting for an opportunity to come or some type of raise, something that you have really have been working very hard towards, what they're saying is, again... Um, don't doubt yourself and don't give up just because you feel like you're not being able to see the fruits of your labor if you continue on the path and keep yourself motivated and focused on the target you will be able to see that manifestation okay alrighty so I'm going to be pulling out three cards these are going to be the energies that you're going to be influenced by for this month of August all right so we have here third house perception the third house rules communication so again uh it could be a lot of communication coming in communication in regards to love and romance for some of you guys with venus um you may also be dealing with a gemini or you may be dealing with the libra type of energy now these could be uh not necessarily specific people but it can also represent the energies of venus and gemini uh, so again, Gemini is a very communicative, uh, muni communicative uh, energy. Their sign is all about communication. So again, third house and Gemini speaks about communication. I see you guys very either very social or getting a lot of messages, people reaching out to you, either people from your past, people you've been interested in. Again, if you've been sitting there waiting for someone and they start finally to open up, really remember that the universe is testing you right now so again how bad do you want it are you going to be uh are you going to be hypnotized with the light are you going to be hypnotized with the glitter and the glam of people uh being very receptive to you and are you going to uh, pretty much walk away from the path that you've been up until now or do you want it bad enough that you're going to keep focused like tunnel vision and walk towards the aim or towards that manifestation that you've been wanting again venus is all to do with harmony romance love charm sensuality so again for some of you guys it could even be like the struggle of you know the struggle of relationships when it comes to your sexuality for some of you guys it could be uh, that you rush very quickly to relationships um, on a physical aspect without really knowing them or without really knowing where you stand with the person for some of you guys you could be on your pursuit of passion and desire and you're often feeling like you are with gemini uh you're often feeling like you're struggling that there's an inner struggle going on with you where you're happy and content just being in a casual relationship but then there's days where you wake up and you feel like you need that emotional connection uh, remember physical and emotion could be very separate doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be together although everything in life is balanced so it is necessary to bring physical as well as emotional to be able to have a harmonious relationship okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we will see each other soon bye